Welcome to day two of our NAMI Walks Your Way Maryland Creativity Connects Team Captain Kickoff Week. Today, we're going to review how to manage your team and participants. This will be a quick step-by-step -step tutorial to help both you and your participants. So let's get started. Once you're logged into your NAMI Walks page, you'll see a huge black bar at the top of your screen. What we're going to want to do is click on the little icon that says Team Page. This will take us directly to the Potter Hounds team page. From here, you can edit your goal, your description, and you can take a look at your roster. Right now, our only team member is Sirius Black, who is labeled as the team captain. You can check how many people on your team have reached certain milestones. People can also, as opposed to directly donating to a participant, like if I wanted to donate to Sirius, you can also donate directly to the team, which is why you've got a team uh, support us button right here. You can also take a look at your settings from this, from this area. Here you can also update your team fundraising goal and then get a direct link to your team. If you want to stream your fundraising, if you have a Twitch account, for example, or a YouTube account, you can stream directly to your NAMI Walks page. Right now, we're going to double check our roster. Again, we only have Sirius, so we're going to go ahead and add an offline participant. That means that whoever I'm adding will be, uh, their participant page will be managed by Sirius personally. So we're going to go ahead and go to our dashboard. That's also at the top of this page. What you can do from your dashboard, aside from viewing your team fundraising and your roster, it'll give you a bunch of options. So it'll show you your team stats, where you rank, how many members you have, how many emails have been sent, and all sorts of things. From here, you can also see the event information, download resources, invite people to join your team. But right now, what we're going to actually do is register another participant. And that'll be right under the team fundraising. So as you can see here, we can register somebody else. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna register my cat to this team. Her name is Ori and she is Ori the cat. Relationship to you. So you can use your address for this participant as a checkbox, it's defaulted, but you can also uncheck it in case somebody else, you know, in case Ori lives somewhere else. For the interest of time, we're gonna go ahead and say, use my address for this participant. You can also say what their relation is to you, whether they're your spouse, a child, a friend, coworker, or a family member. They're going to be friends. You can also check this box that will say, I will manage this participant's fundraising page and receive an email about their fundraising progress. Obviously, if they're going to be on my team, I'm the only team captain, so we're going to switch it to team member just by clicking the change button there. And then Ori the cat, who's my friend, can be added to my team. Here I can talk about what I want Ori's goal to be. I'm going to leave it at a thousand, which is the default. You can decide whether you're going to make a donation or you can decide not at this time. You can decide whether you're going to be a walk star, what your connection to NAMI is, and what your t-shirt size is. Ori is a cat, so she's a youth small. And her birth year, Ori was born in 2017. Just like that, I can go ahead and agree to terms and conditions. I can save and add another participant if I want to, or I can just go ahead and continue to confirmation. Once I make sure that Ori the cat is registered properly, she's a team member on Potter Hounds. She's gonna be raising $1,000. She's gonna be a block star. She's got a personal connection, t-shirt size, address, and then we're gonna go ahead and complete registration. Now, since Sirius is the one who's running Ori's page, what we can do in order to access Ori's page and make all of the changes or edits, add a photo or anything else we wanna do, when you go to the top black bar here, you hover over the welcome and click on switch account. This will let you know the different users, 
the different ones that you can manage. We're still on Sirius's page now, but we can click on Ori the Cat and click Change User. This will give me my information for Ori, her email, obviously, she's an offline donor, but then we can go to her page and edit as if it was our page as well. So Ori the Cat, obviously we can change her name, we can change her fundraising goal, we can change her story and see her settings. Just like before, you can get your page link directly to this page, you can connect any way you want, add a stream, all that good stuff. And then if I wanna go back to Sirius, I just go back to here, hover over the logged in section and switch account. Switch back to Sirius, just like I did before, change user. And there we go, we're back to Sirius's page. Thank you so much for joining us for this tutorial today. Just a reminder, we have two challenges going on this week. Number one, the team captain who adds the most team members to their team by the end of kickoff week will receive a Navilocks branded waste pack. And two, the participant who receives the highest number of donations by the end of kickoff week will receive a Namiwaks branded inverse umbrella. These are awesome high quality products, so don't delay. If you're looking for any available resources, please check out our website at www.namimd.org. Or if you have any questions, you can give our office a call at 410-884-8691 or email me at connection at namimd.org. Thank you so much and have a great day.